Hi, this is Richard Arnold from Arnold Innovations. I'd like to introduce you to our two new products for the New Holland CR Combine Series. We have the AI100 CR, which is to assist unplugging the rotors. And for those combines equipped with the dynamic stone protection, we have the AI100 CR DSP. The following videos show how both these are operated. And thank you for watching. We will now demonstrate how to uh, attach and run the reverser for the rotors on a CR combine. Having opened the cover, you will see the ratchet head in front of you. You have to remove the retaining pin and swing the ratchet head across and onto the nut where you would attach your uh, factory ring. You may need to turn it a little bit to get it to attach. Having installed the ratchet head onto the nut, you now need to thread in a piece of pipe supplied with the combine. This is an important safety feature as this ratchet head is very heavy and to avoid serious personal injury this needs to be threaded in so if the ratchet head does become dislodged it will not hurt anybody. With the pipe installed you now come to the front and open the cover where you could access the uh, spool valve. First off you need to turn on the supply. Once you have turned on the supply you are then able to run the spool valve watching to see whether you have movement. center position it is, it is possible to rock backwards and forwards to loosen a lump. When you've done that you can then put it into reverse. And then you can continue to reverse with a ratchet. When you are finished unplugging the combine, leave the reverser with the cylinder fully extended. You then need to shut off the supply valve, shut the cover, you then need to remove the pipe, it is uh, the factory safety pipe. We will now demonstrate how the DSP reverser works. First off you have to remove the guard that covers the drive pulley to the DSP. When removed set it aside somewhere safe so it can be reinstalled. You then need to attach the hub supply to the center of the pulley. This hub is essential as uh, it prevents the reverser from uh, coming detached while in operation. It just screws into the end of the pulley where the factory piece of pipe would thread in. Screw it in until it is tight. Having inserted that, we now will lift the reverser up and attach it to the pulley.
Only wind the ratchet head up, you then need to in, in, uh, screw in the centre retaining screw. This is what screws into the hub, and this prevents the reverse from falling off while in operation. As with every other Arnold Innovations reverser, you have three positions on the ratchet. You have the reverse, in the centre it is locked so you can rock it, and then the other way it will ratchet forwards. Having attached the reverser, you then need to turn on the hydraulic supply with the shut-off valve. This valve must always be turned off when not in use. You turn on the valve, you are now ready to run the reverser with the spool valve located under the steps. Always watching the reverser at all times for leaks, hydraulic leaks and uh, coming detached. You are then able to run it. Again, with all our reverses, we advise if you have a serious blockage to leave it in the lock position and get a little bit of movement going each way and this aids in assisting you unplugging much, much quicker. Having finished reversing, return the reverser to the fully closed, the cylinder to the fully closed position. You now need to turn off your shut-off supply valve. Having done that, we can now unthread the retaining screw, remove the ratchet head, set it down, and you'll need to remove the hub. And replace the guard. guard replaced and your hub put somewhere safely, you're ready to go combine again.